Glad to hear from everyone, including Daryl in Columbus, Georgia. Hello, Daryl. Well, first I'd like to say to Joe, I mean, Joe, you are stupid. My Paul kept telling you he called you an idiot, and you kept referring back, you called me stupid. He didn't call you. You are stupid. You can't remember what it, nobody said. I mean, you know what? I'm just glad he's a bamber. I really am. But that's just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what the, I don't even think it was every question, Paul. Really? I mean, Murray stats the worst to his stats. It wasn't because of here you got a quarterback that not only had those like passing stats, but had over 900 yards in rushing. I mean, that's like Cal Newton numbers. The guy deserves the highest. I mean, there's, there's no no doubt about it. You know, you know what you know what Murray told to him after all that time, don't you? No. Don't, don't worry, little fella. Don't worry, don't worry, little fella. You'll win one sooner or later. You know, you know they asked the Paul asked that. Probably what was he gonna do to celebrate? He said he probably just wait till the season was over and had the national championship trophy and the Heisman and go spend the week and hang out on the beaches in Hawaii. What do you think about that? Let me ask you this. If Georgia would have played Oklahoma and Alabama would have played uh, Texas, who do you, I mean, if, if Alabama would have played Texas, Georgia would have played uh, freaking, um, oh, let me start off. If Alabama would have played Texas and Oklahoma would have played Georgia, who do you think would have won the highest event? Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, really, the, the Heisman was dictated more by injury than it was by stats. Well, here, here's my point, okay? Here's my point. My point is, the, all that stuff, okay, two and two playoffs, all that stuff needs to be done in the NFL, and all that stuff needs to be determined at the end of the regular season. If you want to use the postseason for determining how you're going to stack your four teams, that's fine. But all that should be determined at the end of the regular season, postseason awards and everything. Because you can't. You can't yeah, you, you know, you may, be, you may be right about that. Um, I do think by you adding, yeah, you, you, add a, you add a layer of games that all players are not involved with, and, and you, can, you can't say, well, just because you played well and get into a championship game. I mean, it, it gives them, an, an, in this case, it didn't cost anyone, but it does give them an, a, an advantage. Absolutely. Well, you know what? I mean, this is like Florida would have had a bad game against Texas, and there would have been a Notre Dame player in the right behind them. Guess who would have won the highest in the end? A player that didn't even have to play a postseason game. That's why. I mean, I don't understand how they can continue to do it like this when you got schools that don't even, some schools that don't even compete in, in a postseason. You kind of, kind of help, you know, I mean, it's kind of like you think that would cost them more. But I don't know. I mean, I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. But Paul, Paul, you know, you saw what Coach did, Rob. Right? You saw what Coach did when he hit to the state of Alabama and pulled out the number one high school player in the state. What do you think about that? Well, listen, uh, well, you know, uh, I don't think, I mean, I, 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 he, uh, the player said uh, from Oxford, Alabama, that he went there because of Sam Pittman, the line coach, and that's fine. Uh, Alabama rarely loses a number one player in the state, but I, I think you have to look at where Alabama recruits primarily. Uh, you know the the, ge the geography is that, that that's very close to the Georgia line, so uh, it's a big it's a big win for Kirby Smart. I think a lot of people don't realize this or don't want to believe it, but these recruiters have more impact on these players than the head coach does. Yeah, no, you're, that's I why think I think I, that's why I think the, uh, you know they always talk about you know who who are your most important recruiters uh, at various schools. Uh, they are different people. And in the end, you have to look at what it what what it appears on next what it what it looks like next Wednesday. One player is not going to upset the apple cart. It, perceptively, it looks bad for Nick Saban to lose a player from his state, but that uh, that happens occasionally. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. David is in Chicago. You're